Hi, welcome to Max Bowling, I'm Thomas and today I'm doing a 300 challenge and ball review of the brand new Storm Ion Max. I was lucky enough to get one of these at Storm Dog Larson Masters right after it was announced. And uh, it's pretty strong and we like strong balls, so I'm excited about this one. Alright, so first of all, this video is going to be a ball review, but while I'm doing the ball review, I'm also bowling the 300 challenge, basically how fast I can bowl 300. I have to bowl 12 strikes in as few shots as possible. If I don't strike, I count the shot, but I do the frame over, so uh, this could be 12 shots. It could also be a lot more, but I have pretty high hopes for the uh, Iron Max, so please enjoy, and uh, you can watch more of these for all the new storm balls here on Emacs Bowling if you want to. Alright, frame one with the Ion Max. Let's get this going. Nice flush start. So the Iron Max is obviously the follow-up to the Iron Pro, but these two balls are about as related as uh, you and your grand cousin, only by name. The uh, Iron Max has a much much stronger, uh, stronger cover, much earlier, much more hook potential in this cover. Um, the core is stronger on the Iron Pro. It has a low diff core means it's more stable, less flare potential, less hook potential. This one has a much higher diff, so more unstable, more hook potential. Colors are completely different too, obviously, and this one smells like strawberry milkshake, which Storm really nailed, and this one smells really, really good. So, completely different ball, uh, which is also a good thing, because we don't need two iron balls that does basically the same thing. So, uh, but. You can definitely fit both the Ion Max and the Ion Pro in your arsenal. There we go. That one's pretty good. Flush, flush. Alright, so um, I'll show you my layout. I went with my normal asymmetrical pin under layout. Uh, so nothing too special. Um, show it to you here. Like again, my normal asymmetrical layout. Um, this is like a five and a quarter inch pin. The uh, uh, PSA is about three and a half inches, and the pin buffer is is about four. So very normal middle of the road layout. So you're gonna know what the ball does from this video because I haven't done anything weird with the layout to make it do something else. So it uh, should give you a good read. All right, let's keep going here. Hold. Ah, got around that one a little bit. As I said, the Iron Max is really, really strong. I'm balling on uh, like a medium pattern here. Um, not a house shot, but there is some friction to the right. But I have to be make sure I, I really get get it through the friction with the Iron Max, just simply because of how strong it is. So um, I did that on that shot, and it hooked. All right, gonna move one left off the last one. Gonna make sure keep my hand more up the back of the ball. That's better. That was a lot better. Control the the motion a little bit better with my hand. And um, yeah, so can't really compare. Doesn't really make sense to compare the Iron Max to the Iron Pro. It's just so different. It compares a lot better to something like a gem or reality, harsh reality, um, magic gem, those tiny balls, the big asymmetrical balls. So I'll talk a little bit about how I feel it compares to those after my next shot here. A 
So three out of four, 75% strike percentage. I would take that any day of the week. A little left, a little left, but kept my hand behind it. Again, really good. You can see how early it picks up and how rolly it is. So I would describe the, the Iron Max as a strong, smooth ball. Uh, it has the same, I believe it has the same cover as the Proton Physics, which is one of my favorites. And I feel like it's not a direct copy of the Proton Physics, but it does give me some, uh, some similarities. So let's see if we can improve our strike percentage even more here. That's a little left. That one was really good off my hand. Even though it was a pinch left, it was really good off my hand. So, um, comparing it to the gem, I feel like the gem's earlier, and the gem's also smooth, but I feel like the gem's a little more what I would call tumbly. So if you imagine when the gem gets to the back end, it kind of rolls forward, tumbles forward. Um, the Iron Max, a little bit cleaner, and uh, it, uh, it, when it gets to the back end, it's more of a rounded, smooth shape, rounded uh, uh, hook, smooth hook, rather than it being tumbly. So both of them are smooth, but a little bit different ways of being smooth. So let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the reality after this next shot. All right. So, just gotta make sure I roll it. Oh! That would have been a sick messenger if something came from the back and hit the 2.8. But I obviously missed right on that one. Missed a little bit off my hand. Happens. Uh, it's not that strong that it just hooks back from a shot like that. But comparing the Iron Max to, to the Reality, I feel like the Reality is a little stronger uh, down lane on the back and a little more angular. Reality is not an angular ball, but comes off the so-called spot a little bit stronger than the Iron Max. So you'd kind of have the, uh, the gem being a little earlier, a little smoother. Um, and then the, the reality coming off it, coming off it a little bit harder. So, um, but the Iron Max being a little cleaner than both of those balls, I feel like. Um, so a little bit different, um, a little bit different motion, kind of what I had with the Proton Physics, where it was just a little bit different from the gym and the reality, a little more of that rounded smooth motion, where the other two were a little more chumply and a little more angular. So, all right. All right, so we're in the sixth frame strike here, and we're halfway done. That's a pretty good shot. Ooh. One thing that kind of surprises me about uh, the Iron Max is how well it actually continues through the pins. Like you can tell there, it, it hits the pins and it keeps going. Where a lot of times with these really strong asymmetrical balls, when you're using them on, this uh, probably isn't the most ideal pattern for it. Um, probably want something a little longer, a little heavier volume. They do tend to, to want to 10 pin a little bit, kind of die out, roll out a little bit. This one, this one doesn't, it, it keeps going left a bunch of nine pins with it so far which is a little unusual for me oh hook that 
well. Gotta throw it somewhat decent, otherwise you end up with that. So, all right, let's get back to throwing some good shots. Um, Iron Max compared to something like the Magic Gem, I feel like the Magic Gem is definitely cleaner and more angular on the back. So, at, at least with some layout. So it kind of fits in that same category as those balls, but it does make a little bit of a different shape. Um, which is a good thing. You want those little differences so you can build your arsenal as well as possible. All right. We have six strikes. I believe I've missed three times. That's a better shot. That's a good shot. And you can tell it, it wants to pick up and when it picks up, it starts going, it, it continues. It's that nice, smooth, even motion towards the pins and doesn't stop, doesn't just go sideways off the end of the pattern, it just kind of keeps going. Almost had that nine pin, but it it managed to stop just enough. So, uh, for me and my arsenal, I, I'm really liking what I'm seeing from the Iron Max. As I said, it's gonna fit like at the top of my bag. A really strong ball, uh, comparable to the gem, the reality, uh, harsh reality, magic gem. Um, but it is a little bit different. I do feel like this one um, probably a pinch more versatile than like the gem. Gem's a little bit of a niche ball. It's really, really good at what it does, but it is a little bit of a niche ball. This one's a little more versatile, a little more in the, um, I would say in the reality category, which is also a really, really versatile ball. Um, so I kind of look forward to throwing it some more. Do I need to bring all four or five of those balls uh, with me to a tournament? Probably not, and I'm probably not going to. If I'm only bringing like six or nine balls, but I'm definitely bringing a couple of them. And I feel like the Iron Max is definitely one of them, one of the last one that, that I'm gonna sort, sort out of. It's gonna have a chance on pretty much every pattern. I feel like short patterns to, to long patterns because of how round and smooth the motion is. So I really like it. So let me, uh, got eight strikes. I'm gonna throw the next one here, hopefully strike and then talk a little bit about how um, how I feel like it'll match up to other people and match up for you. That could have 10 pinned, but again, it goes through the pin so well that it just doesn't. So that was, that was nine strikes. And um, like, if you're already balling somewhere where there's a bunch of friction or you have a little bit of trouble with your ball overhooking, you're probably better off looking at something like the Iron Pro. But if you're struggling to get your ball to hook, struggling to get your ball to pick up hook early enough, or you're going and bowling somewhere where there's a lot of oil on the lane, a long pattern, uh, not a whole lot of friction, definitely keep the Iron Max in, um, in your mind. I also know like for a while there, it seemed like everyone was drilling either a gem or a reality as their strong ball. And obviously it's been a couple of years, reality is discontinued now. So if you're looking for a replacement for a gem or a reality or a complement for that matter, the Iron Max is definitely gonna be a good one in that regard. Uh, a lot of the times with these strong asymmetrical balls, you can kind of tell 
right away if it's going to be good or not just be by how it goes through the pins and what motion it makes on the back this one definitely has the the makings of a good one so uh, i'm very very positive about it i feel like it'll match up to a lot of different people but let's uh, see if we can finish up here with a few more strikes We're starting the temp frame. Missed it a little bit. Oh, and it still chops the 10 pin. That's unbelievable because that's my, that's my miss. I miss it a little bit off my hand. It gets a little bit wider and it doesn't come back quite as hard. So usually I, I either go wide like some we do earlier or a 10 pin. And I want chopped it out, which is an unbelievable good sign. That was, I'm really, really surprised about that one striking. Um, but again, like if you're lower rev rate with some speed, or if you have a lot of speed, even if you have a lot of rev rate, I think you're really gonna like this one. And if it hooks a little too early for you, from what I've seen, it, it can shine up really nicely. So uh, don't be afraid to put, put a little polish on it. That was a really good one. So one more to go. Um, what else is there to say about the Iron Max? Obviously you've seen it rolls pretty good here. Goes through the pins really, really well for a strong asymmetrical ball. Um, again, it does need some oil. So you're probably not gonna throw it up the gutter on your typical house shot. Probably not gonna throw it on like wood lanes. But if you're bowling somewhere where it's a little tricky to get your ball to hook and pick up the right spot, this one's a good one. And if you like the gem, but you feel like you need just a little more continuation, this is the one to go to, definitely. All right, this one for 312 strikes. Let's see if we can throw a good one, get it done. Apparently I have more to say about the Iron Max because that one didn't strike. So got a few more shots to go. Yeah, I think I've, I've said most of my stuff. Again, I threw this one last week at the uh, Lucky Larson Masters for the first time. It looked really good playing a little bit straighter on the fresh. Uh, just keep my hand up at the back of it, kind of letting it roll. It allowed me to, to get it to hit just a little bit harder than like the gem because the gem was a little too early. And um, it didn't force me to move left or get slow like uh, some of the weaker balls did. So I think it's gonna fit a really good spot in my bag. And I really look forward to, to throwing it some more. So let's uh, see what we can do on this one. Hopefully not eight pin again. I don't think that's gonna chop out to 10. So that was 12 strikes in, let me just do a quick calculation here. 16 shots, I think. That's not bad, that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, again, Iron Max, strong ball from Storm. Definitely up there with like the gem, the reality, the harsh reality, those balls. Um, nice rounded smooth motion that just kind of continues. Goes through the pins really, really well for a big asymmetrical ball. And I do think it's pretty versatile. Um, I look forward to trying this out on short patterns because I think it's going to be that big tumbly smooth ball that you can use on short patterns, but it's also gonna be able to handle a lot of oil and long patterns. So I think it's gonna match my game pretty good. And if you're not struggling with 
uh, with getting your ball to hook early enough, struggling with having it to hook too much, then maybe look into the Iron Pro because that one's basically the opposite of the Iron Max. So thanks for watching. Uh, I always appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks for, uh, make sure you subscribe here to Emax Bowling and check out more of the videos. We'll, uh, I'll be having a lot more uh, ball reviews and uh, stuff like that coming soon. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out some of the other videos, uh, ball reviews, 300 challenges, tips, tricks, all kinds of stuff here. Thanks.